Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we're going to be doing a review of this Channel 6 News building. By far the biggest dial I have ever made. Ever. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so first of all, before I get started, let me give credit where credit is due. This design is not mine. Uh, I, just, I did download the design from a webpage called uh, coach 3d.com I will leave a link down below this is designed by a guy named or his page is called project kid project dash kid uh, I will leave a link down below if you guys want to download this file and uh, 3d print it yourself he also has a bunch of other uh, uh, TMMT uh, cartoon related uh, prints that you guys could print out he has a really a lot of cool stuff and he's a really cool designer so uh, also different cartoons not just uh, TMNT stuff but he also has a lot of other uh, projects in there that you guys could download and uh, 3d print yourself uh, they they are for purchase so you do have to pay for that file uh, in order to download that file and then you could print it all yourself so um, before I get started guys uh, I do want to give a little rant and if you guys don't want to hear the rants, I get it. You guys could forward this video or this part of the video. Uh, you guys could go straight down to the review. But I do want to give a little rant before I get started on the review. This is something that's been aching me for a while. Uh, and it does drive me crazy. So I do want to rant about it. Uh, again, if you guys don't want to hear the rant, you guys could go skip right to the review. But uh, if you're an artist, you guys will understand. So uh, a lot of people always copy my stuff and never ever give me credit for it it has happened through me throughout my whole art career um it's always happened to me i it, it it was worse when i started on instagram uh, i don't have an instagram anymore i got kicked out of instagram for other reasons uh, i will not name on this video right now but uh, there's other reasons why i got kicked out of instagram uh, stupid reasons but uh, reasons nonetheless um but i got uh when I was on Instagram, there was a bunch of people that would see my post and then they would make their own uh, whatever it is that I posted, say a custom figure or a custom dial or anything like that. And then they would make their own and then they would uh, take that credit of mine and never, ever give me credit. The number one rule as an artist, the only rule of an artist is that you must give credit where credit is due if you copy somebody's thing if you copy somebody's thing and just tweak it a little bit to make it your own or if you just get inspired by somebody else's art you must always always give credit to that artist with the original print or the original art if you don't do that you are not an artist in my book you are not an artist you're just a trashy wannabe artist and it's happened to me so many times and it drives me crazy that people do that so if you're an artist you you understand even the biggest artists out there on youtube they give credit to where if you guys look at 10 hundred he always gives credit to everybody that he he gets inspired by and if you look look at any artist any artist on youtube that's a true artist you guys will see even they even give credit to the like the smallest youtubers that they they copied from or any little page that they copy it from they always give credit to that that's a true that's how you know this is a true artist. Everybody else, guys, if you guys see something that they copied and never give credit to the original art, call them out on it. Un like I would unsubscribe from that channel. I personally, I can't tell you what to do if you guys want to unsubscribe from that channel, but I will unsubscribe from that channel if I see somebody else copying somebody else's art. That's ridiculous to me. Those people are not artists. Excuse my language, but those people are douchebags. And I would never, ever follow somebody like that. Those are not true artists, guys. So if you guys see somebody like that, call them out on it. Say that, hey, man, why don't you give credit to this person? That's his art. You're copying somebody else's art. I personally would unsubscribe from that channel. And just uh, those people don't deserve the credit. Don't like I wouldn't support people like that. I would not buy their stuff either and anything like that because they're just copying somebody else's stuff and hopefully they get caught someday. Uh, they get caught someday selling somebody else's art because that's not cool, man. That is not cool taking somebody else's art. Um so yeah, you should never do that as an artist. Uh, anyways, uh the another thing that happened that I just recently found out was that this um 
I don't know if I should name him or not. <laughs> Screw it, I'll name him. So this guy named Zulu. Um, he used to follow me on Instagram back when I had a page. And um, he used to send me messages back and forth. And uh, when I made my dial, the street, the, the sewer layer dial, I had put a street scene on top of it. And he copied it. He copied that dial. Uh, I had sold so many dials, so many of those uh, sewer layer dials. And then he saw it and he copied me and he sent me a message saying, what are you going to do on the top layer of the street dial? Like I, I, I'd put the sewer layer and then I put a street on top of it and I was going to do something else on top of it. I even mentioned it on my video. And so he even told me, like, what are you going to do for the top part of it? And I told him, and he said, he even said it on his own words, I'm going to just steal your stuff. And that's what he said. And he, I, I thought he was just joking around, but he literally just took my stuff and he took credit for it. And he never gave me credit for it. And now this Zulu guy is making stuff for NECA. He's literally designing turtle stuff for NECA and he stole my stuff and never gave me credit for it and I'm calling you out for it like I'm really calling you out for it and you know you did it and I have proof to uh, I have proof I have that little message that you sent me and I took a picture of it just in case that ever happened that I needed it I actually took a uh, picture of that message of us going back and forth and you saying that you were going to copy my stuff and you did and you never gave me credit for it that's a douchebag move that is a douchebag move and it, it it, I was like, somebody brought it to my attention that you were making stuff for NECA. And I was like, what? That's insane. This dude copied my stuff and now he's getting credit on top of it. That's insane. Anyways, uh, he does have his own art. He does have his own uh, stuff. And he is he is talented. But for him to steal somebody's stuff and not give him credit, he's a douchebag for that. And I'm telling you, he's a douchebag for that, for that little move that he made. Anyways, um, that's the end of my rant, guys. I'm sorry. But that it did... It did get me wild up because i found out you know all that stuff and it just it drove me crazy that a, a, a self-proclaimed artist would say you know take somebody else's stuff and not give them credit for it it's insane all right guys for so those of you who skipped my little rant there uh let's get right into the review of this uh channel six building um again this i didn't design it uh, i did add a little few things to it not little just minor little things and i will point them out as the review goes on so um this is the bottom floor excuse the lighting i do not have good lighting on this side of the room uh, which i will fix in the future but not in this video unfortunately uh, there's a channel six sign and then there's a little channel six um, writing on the side of the building which is pretty cool i didn't go with the white i didn't like the white <clears throat> excuse me uh i didn't like the white color on there so it's kind of like a peachy color but a super light peachy color i don't know what's going on with my voice it's kind of losing my voice but <clears throat> i might have to do something with that rant i just did <laughs> anyways um so here's the rooftop uh the rooftop does sink in a little bit so you could display some of the figures here and this is a little trike that if you look at the new NECA um slash figure if you look at the back of the box, this little tricycle's on there. Uh, he did want me to do that. That's a separate order. So I, he also ordered that. So I made that for him as well. Um, for those of you who, who print out stuff on their 3D printers, you guys know that if you print big stuff out, unless you have a huge 3D printer, then when you glue stuff together, you're going to see some seams on there. As you can see, that seam right there, which I really, really don't like. Uh, if you guys know... A way to get rid of those seams as best as possible please let me know in the comments down below or link me to a video that shows me how to do it uh, the best way I did it or the easiest way I could solve that problem was by buying a um, uh, poster paper and so it looks like tarp paper up here on the roof so now you could post anything and you don't see any of the seams which that's the reason why I put it put this poster paper here and I also put it for the carpet there and the carpet here because it also had seams here going across here and there and i really didn't like those big old seams it was pretty nasty looking so i decided to put this uh, poster paper so anyways uh it does come with this little antenna there for the tower and then down here is your channel six uh news room i guess you could call it um I, as you could see the lighting kind of sucks it sucks here and if you have bad lighting uh, it wouldn't be a good display so i decided to put my own little lighting on there 
uh, these little cheap little lights were about well they were five bucks each and I bought them at Crackle Barrel um, I did have three of them I don't know what happened to the third one uh, I did put another one down here uh, but I am missing one on this room here uh, but I I went to my Crackle Barrel and they unfortunately they didn't have any more so I guess I have to go to another location hopefully they have some so yeah you could just display with this however you want uh, these cameras and these lightings are mine uh, they're from the Channel 6 uh, 4 pack uh, the Channel 6 building 4 pack if you guys have those these come with it so that kind of that was super fitting with this diorama alone so I just decided to display uh, display these guys there for uh, for this video uh, kind of like fill it in a little bit so he sent me some pictures that he wanted for me to post on the back this is supposed to be a TV screen actually um, but this is a picture that he wanted me to put on there and then these little TV screens on the side those are the pictures that he wanted me to set on there unfortunately I can't switch these things out the way it was designed I just uh, I just had to glue them inside there so because of the way it was designed it would have been nice if I could like slip these pictures out and put my own pictures in there or switch them out the way I want them to look but unfortunately that's the way it's gonna have to stay but yeah that's a nice little way you could display your stuff if you like and then down here is another little office with Irma there and Baxter Stockman a human Baxter Stockman with his little Mauser uh, scaring Irma there and his little it comes with this little table if you want uh, this is gonna come with the diorama and this table and then the chair back there that Irma's sitting on and it's got little windows right there for this tiny little office you could always put little posters up here if you like to cover more of the wind or of the walls and then this door here had to be glued on the way it is um, the customer which is my friend decided to leave the door open like this you do lose you do lose a little bit of space over here uh, um, again I'm sorry about the lighting guys it's pretty dark down here but so as you can see let me move this guy out of the way there's still space back there you could put a chair back there you could have somebody sitting in there you could have a uh, Casey Jones here answering the phones in his business suit and then down here is just a solid piece this doesn't come off or anything uh, I personally if I was gonna design this I would have designed another office which is the entrance to the building uh, which kind of looks like this I would have designed that down there but that's just me and my preference uh, but I could understand why he just made a solid piece there because you need a solid base uh, because this is pretty heavy there's a lot of stuff on top of this and this is the base so you need a good support in order to hold all this stuff up so I could understand why he he made it this way uh, I personally would have had another office down here like I said or the entrance of the building but yeah that's basically it for the building uh, it's pretty cool it's it's three feet tall and then from here to here I'm not 100% sure but by the looks of it, it looks like two and a half feet uh, wide and then the length this way or this could be the width I guess because this is the front of the building width and length the length is like two and a half feet two to two and a half feet I'm not 100% sure and then this is a foot this way so yeah it's a pretty big building and then the back is just the windows and then the other back is just a bunch of windows as well so that's another thing that I added um, I have this cheap Creality, uh, Creality uh, Ender um, Neo Max I think it's called 3D printer and this printer takes forever and it broke down on me a million times over it's horrible <laughs> if anybody from uh, from Creality could send me a message telling me why their printer sucks or this particular printer or they could give me a heads up or they could tell me what's going on with this printer because I had to change so many parts to this printer over and I I've only had it for uh, maybe seven months and I had to change basically all of it all of it in order to get it printing so it uh, I wouldn't recommend that printer but it, it anyways I digress uh, these things are styrofoam I had to cut them all out because that 3D printer died out on me. So I had to cut up all these pieces of of, uh, of styrofoam and glue them on there. 
unfortunately so that's what i did and then this part since this is a massive thing and i have to ship it out i found a box big enough just to fit this part of it and not this part this part will stick out so i had to design a, a way to remove this part of the of the dial so that's what i did i put two little skewers there and it and it um perfectly lines up with the bottom of this so in order you could just pop this thing out and put it back on that way it's easier to ship uh to my friend which is the client so yeah that's those are little things i had to add on to it but other than that most of it is just you know the the project kids uh, design of, of the thing again if you guys want to go check him stuff out i'll leave a link down below go check it out uh, he has a bunch of other cool prints i am gonna do the baxter stockman's uh robot um, machine that he has i don't know his little biting thing that he has um i am gonna print that one out in the future and i do i'll do a review of it but uh other than that yeah guys this is gonna wrap it up uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this little episode, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.